Alright guys, so in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how you can make cool gaming thumbnails just like this in Photoshop. So yeah, without any further ado, let's jump right into the video. Alright, so after you have opened up Photoshop, first of all, you need to click on File, New, and then you need to select HDTV 1080p and click on Create. Alright, so after you have done that, I like to start with the background. So for the background, I'm gonna select this image right here. You can get any image you like from Google. I also get this image from Google. You can just search up for the image you like and you can copy that image and you can paste that to Photoshop by clicking Ctrl plus V. So after you have done that, go ahead and get the move tool at the top and make sure that you need that you have selected the auto select and the show transform controls because these two options will be useful when we are editing with the Photoshop. So after you have done that, you need to click on this, you need to click on this little button right on the bottom and click on hue saturation and you can lower down the saturation for uh, to negative 100 and again click on this button right here and you need to add a brightness and contrast and you can increase the contrast this depends on the picture you have chose i'm gonna make it around i would say 40 i guess or 39 and also you can lower down the brightness okay perfect and then we can add a fortnite character so for that i'm gonna use this uh, character right here i just search for fortnite character png so uh, i just go through these uh, characters and i like this one so you can select anything you like simply right click copy the image and you can paste it to photoshop just like that and you can resize this so now we need to get rid of this black background all you need to do is you can get the object selection tool and click on select subject at the top and photoshop will automatically select the subject just like this and click on select and mask at the top and now you can actually see if the photoshop actually done a pretty good job if not you can obviously adjust this up Alright, and now I think it looks pretty good. So now what I like to do, I like to lower down the shift edge and also I like to increase the feather and then go ahead and click on output tool and make sure that this is set to new layer with layer mask and click OK. And you can delete the other layer and bam, now you will have the character without a black background. And you can resize that just like that and you can position this somewhere right here. You can tilt it if you want to and OK, that looks pretty good. Alright, so after that, we can move on to the text. So go ahead and get the type tool and you can type the text. I'm going to type best. And by the way, I'm using the font called Luckiest Guy. You can download this font from the link which I have provided in the description box. And then you can actually resize this text something like that. And I'm going to place it right here. And also I'm going to put this below the character layer just like that. And yeah, and then you need to hold alt and drag that down which will create duplicate. And you can type the other text so i'm gonna type as thumb and i'm gonna put it right here and also i'm gonna make another duplicate and i'm gonna type thumbnail and then i'm gonna increase the scale and you can actually play with the position and stuff Alright, so after you have done that, we can move on to the layer styles. So I will put the link to download the layer styles in the description box down below. You can simply download them for entirely free. And after you have downloaded the files, go ahead and double click on the files. And then the layer styles will be imported to Photoshop. So after you have done that, you can double click on the text layer, which will open up the layer styles window. Alright, so after I open up the layer styles window, go ahead and click on the styles at the top. And you need to click on my gaming glow text, I mean the gaming glow text. And you can select the layer styles just like that and bam you will get this nice text effect to your text layer and by the way the layer style credit goes to say so hq which he made this text uh, less that i mean the layer styles so all the credit goes to him so now you need to click on the gradient overlay and you can scroll down and you can select this one right here and click ok and for the outer glow you can select something like this you can lower down the opacity and click on inner glow you can change that to something like this and you can change the blend mode to like divide and go ahead and go up to drop shadow you can change the color to like a grayish color just like that and click ok and click ok and for the other two text layers just add that uh, uh, this uh, layer, uh, layer style right here and click ok and do the same thing to the other text layer 
all right so after you have done that what you guys need to do is you need to select these two layers and click ctrl and g click on this click on hue saturation create a clipping mask and increase the saturation and lower down the lightness just like that maybe negative 10 or 11 will do and after that it will look something like this but so after you have done that what you guys need to do is you need to download the DOMS free content pack and then you can actually copy this border right here you can copy that up and you can actually paste it and you will get this nice looking effect and make sure that this layer is on top of all the layers and you can increase the scale just a bit something like that will do after you have done that you can again open up this uh, DOMS free content pack and go up to speed lines and I like to copy the uh, last one Control C to copy that and you can paste it to Photoshop and then go ahead and change the blend mode to soft light and you can lower down the opacity also you can increase the scale also another thing that you can add is the um, sunburst I like to copy this one right here and paste it to Photoshop you can put it below the text layers and the character you can put it somewhere right here increase the scale and yeah also you can lower down the opacity to like um 28 yeah i think that looks pretty good all right and then you can add the photoshop logo so you can go up to uh, google and you can search for photoshop png so i have selected this image right here right click copy the image and paste it to photoshop so to get rid of this black background you can get the magic phone tool click on the black background and while holding alt click on the layer mask tool and it should the black black background should be gone and you can resize this you can tilt it or rotate it so after you have done that right click and convert this to a smart object double click and you can add some layer styles so i like to add a bit of inner glow change the color to something like this you can play with the size and of course the opacity and you can add a bit of drop shadow to this and uh, yep i think that looks pretty good in my opinion so then what you guys can do is you can actually right click you can convert this to a, a smart object duplicate that layer change the blend mode to linear dodge add click on filter blur caution blur you can increase the blur radius to like 30 duplicate it again double click on the caution blur smart filter and now we can make it uh, 300 click ok and on this layer you can change the blend mode to something like color dodge you can make a group from these layers and then you can simply play with the opacity Alright, so after you have done that, we can add the arrow. So for the arrow, I'm going to use this one right here. Alright, after that, you can select the cursor, I mean the arrow, double click. You can add the same layer style. And then, what you need to do is click on gradient overlay. You can change it to this one right here. You can change the, you can disable the outer glow. And you can... For the inner glow, you can change this to something like this. Change the plane mode to like overlay actually. And yeah, that looks pretty good in my opinion. So after you have done that, you can do the same thing which we did for the Photoshop logo. You can select the cursor, right click, convert that to a smart object. Make a group by clicking Ctrl G, duplicate the layer change the blend mode to linear dodge add filter blur caution blur increase the blurriness to like 64 duplicate it again double click on the smart filter 26 or 300 change this to your linear dodge add and for the uh, this layer change that to overlay looks pretty good so i'm gonna select that you can lower down the opacity just like that and click on this add a hue saturation create a clipping mask 
increase the saturation and decrease the uh, lightness right so after you've done that what you guys need to do is you need to select the text layers to select the text layers and make a group so it should be in one group all the text layers should be in one group and after that you need to duplicate that click ctrl a to make a single layer and in this layer you click ctrl and t and you can add a bit of warp you can make it like a arc all right and that's pretty much it and now we can move on to the color grading or the color correction all you need to do is you need to select the top layer and click click on ctrl alt shift plus e and then click on filter uh, camera raw filter and after that click on basics and you can play with the temperature you can actually play with these sliders all right so after you have done that simply click on ok and bam you will get this nice looking thumbnail for your youtube videos so yeah guys that's it for today's video if you found this video helpful make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel and i will catch you guys on my next video and peace out <laughs>